So what, what made you do the make the switch? I uh, I saw TNA growing, and I wanted to be a part of uh, history. Uh, WWE was kind of running me into the ground. I was doing over 300 dates a year. Um, it started getting really hard on my family, hard on me. Uh, I had a lot of injuries. I had four neck injuries. Um, I had two, two neck surgeries, uh, broken bones, and I was still wrestling full time. I was never getting time, any time off. And I talked to Dixie Carter of TNA, and she said, Kurt, when, whenever you don't feel good, whenever you're injured, you don't have to wrestle. And if you don't want to show up for TV uh, for some reason, for some problem that you're having, you don't have to do that. We'll still pay you. And it was like, actually, somebody really cares about me. You know, I wasn't just some piece of meat. And I had a lot of opportunities passed up in Hollywood because Vince McMahon kind of uh, uh, passed them up, wouldn't let me, wouldn't let me, uh, wouldn't let my career explode onto uh, the acting circuit where I wanted to go. Uh, Dixie Carter has done the opposite. She's actually went out and got me movie parts. And uh, so she, she thinks the more popular I get, the more popular TNA gets. Uh, Vince is the other way. He wants to keep it contained. He has his own WWE films. Uh, actually, I was going to be in his next movie before I quit. But uh, it just, uh, to me, it, it just wasn't worth the money being there. And, and although TNA's paying me very well, and I'm very happy with, the, with, uh, with my money and the progress we're making, um, I think that within a year or two, the ratings are going to switch, switch and flip-flop, and you're going to have ratings war. You're going to have TNA versus WWE. We're getting two hours in October, so that's good. And two hours on Spike. You were big with WWE. Mm -hmm. Were they really upset when you left? I was their top talent. I was uh, making the most money on the roster, uh, therefore being in the most main events. Um, uh, utilized the most at every house show, every TV, every pay-per-view. Uh, yeah, they lost the big wrestler. Uh, they, they lost their biggest wrestler. So. Uh, Vince McMahon was very upset with me, but uh, one thing he did um, that I commend him on is he did release me. I had five and a half years left. I just signed a new contract for five more years, and I thought I was stuck. And I, I was very, very, uh, very sad and very upset uh, going into a meeting with him when, when I asked to quit. And uh, he got very angry at me, but at the end, he saw that I was hurting deeply inside, and he didn't want to feel that guilt, I don't think. And uh, he said, Kurt, I'll let you go. And you know what, in six months, if you want to come back, come on back. Okay. And I commend him for that because, you know, he didn't know it, but I, I already had my eyes set on TNA. But uh, thank God I got here. And, uh, you know, it's great because it's so exciting because every week our ratings keep going up just a little bit, little by little. And um, it's, it's exciting to be a part of that. You know, uh, TNA started from nothing five years ago. Now, now we're, you know, mainstream uh, right there, almost there with WWE. We're actually... Uh, equal to the ratings with ECW. Uh, we're only one point behind uh, uh, Raw. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we're, we're actually growing very quickly. And uh, unfortunately, Raw is losing uh, ratings. Uh, uh, they just did their worst rating in the last seven years this past week. But uh, TNA, you know, there's a, new, there's, a new, uh, there's a new program in town. There's a new show in town, and people are loving it. So I'm glad I'm a part of it. So do you think uh, part of the rating slip is because there's too much talking on uh, the other ones and not enough wrestling? I think it's, you know what, uh, things are stale, guys are getting hurt. Um, they don't have as much talent as people think they do. Uh, they have the ideal 6'4", 275 pound monster looking guy, but, but that isn't going to flip the bill. When it comes down to it, people want to see performance at pay-per-views. We got some of the best wrestlers in the world. Our X division alone is is worth the money in pay-per-view not and, and then you add the heavyweight division with me Samoa Joe Christian Abyss Sting uh, we, we got we got 15 main eventers in the main event right now and then we have our X division you can get a better wrestler company WWE doesn't even pale in comparison to uh, the talent in TNA's roster that's another reason why I went down to TNA is because I saw how many guys that I could have tremendous matches with and WWE I started getting limited near the end I was looking around saying geez where, where do I go next? Mark Henry, Batista? You know, those guys weren't real good wrestlers. Even, uh, even John Cena would admit he's not a good wrestler. He's a great entertainer. Uh -huh. But as far as wrestling, he gets the job done, but he's, he, he's, not, he's not one of the ten best wrestlers in the world, no. Although he's very popular. Yeah, two, just two more quick questions, okay? And one's going to be made. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. No. Chris Benoit, what happened? Uh, I, I know Chris. I've known Chris for a very long time. Um, he had a lot of uh, personal problems. Um, it had nothing to do with WWE. Vince McMahon. See, uh, it, it all comes down to, you know, do you want to be a part of WWE and do you want to be a part of that roster and have to work that much? And every wrestler can make their own decision. 
you know, uh, you know Eddie Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero God, God bless him, God rest his soul, he made a decision to keep going full time. I think Eddie should have been part time. He died from exhaustion. Uh, he had a heart attack. Uh, Chris Benoit, he was having some marital problems. Uh, being on the road wasn't helping him very much. But, you know, these guys made their own decisions to continue to wrestle. What they should have done is quit. I, I, I saw myself uh, in Eddie's position. I saw myself in Chris's position, kind of uh, losing it mentally, you know. Um, it, it was just too much for me, and I made the decision to quit. And so you can't blame Vince McMahon and WWE for that. It, it's, it, you know, you work as an independent contractor, and when you work like, like that, you're working for yourself. So if you don't feel well and you don't feel right, there, there, it's, it's time to get out. It's time to go on to something else. And there is a new, new show in town, TNA. If you, if, you can't, if you can't go to TNA because you, they won't sign you, you can always go over to Japan for, for 10 weeks a year and still make a good living. I mean, it, uh, there's always an option. There, you can always be an agent. You don't have to wrestle anymore. But, you know, these guys, I think they just made the wrong decisions. And God bless them. I mean, I love Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit. You know, I have mixed feelings about what he did. But, um, you know, they made their own decision to do what they did. And, uh, and you can't blame Vince McMahon for that or WWE.